everybody. It's Mornings with Papa Tom Chapin and the Chapin Sisters. Yesterday was Labor Day, so we thought we'd do some wonderful songs around working men and women. And what's better song on the banjo than this one? John Henry was about three days old, sitting on his papa's knee. Well, he picked up a hammer and a little piece of steel, said, Hammer gonna be the death of me, Lord, Lord. Hammer gonna be the death of me, that repeats. Hammer gonna be the death of me, Lord. said to John Henry, gonna bring that steam drill around, gonna bring that steam drill out of the job, gonna pop that steam on down, oh God, pop that steam on down, yeah, gonna pop that steam on down, no God, pop that steam on down. But John Henry told his captain, well, a man Nothing but a man. And before I let your steam drill beat me down, I die with a hammer in my hand. No, no, die with a hammer in my hand. I die with a hammer in my hand. No, no, die with a hammer in my hand. said to the shaker, shaker, why don't you sing? Cause I'm throwing 30 pounds from my hips on down. Listen to that cold steel. Listen to that cold steel brain. Listen to that cold steel brain. Oh, no. Listen to that cold steel brain. Well, the man who invented the steam drill, he thought he was mighty fine. John Henry, he made 15 feet. The steam drill only made nine more long. Steam drill only made nine Henry's 
That's a great old folk tale about the man fighting the machine. Wow, that's it's one of those great uh, uh, kind of things that's gone down through history. Man and the machine. And we're still fighting the machine, in fact. And we're fighting these new machines. These uh, computers and these cell phones. So let's do another one about, about uh, uh, a real hard working man. Here's a song that you guys all know, I'm sure. But, uh, written by Merle Travis out of Muhlenberg County, Kentucky. One of the great guitarists, finger style guitar players, finger style guitar players, along with Chet Atkins and folks. And he played electric guitar later on, but he was also a great songwriter. And he, and he knew about he knew about mining because he grew up in Muhlenberg County. Big hit by Tennessee Ernie Ford. I'll try to get really bassy here. Some people say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood, skin and bone, a mind that's weak and a back that's strong. You load 16 tons, what do you get? Another day on the land, fever and death. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Sixteen tons, a number nine coal, and the straw bell said, Well, bless my soul. You're the sixteen tons, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Seeger put a tune to. Step by step, the longest march can be won, can be won. Many stones can form an arch, singly done, singly done. And by union, what we will can be accomplished still. Drops of water fill the mill. One by one, you can't do it, but you put it all together and you make enormous changes. Step by step, the longest march can be won, can be won. Many stones can fall the arch, singly none, singly none. And by union, what we will can be accomplished still. Drops of water turn a mill, singly none, singly none. 
ladies, can you do a uh, Joe Hill? Yeah. Sure. Let me pass you that banjo too. Sure. Might uh, as well. You're gonna have to do a little tunage, I think. There. That's okay. Joe Hill uh, was a, a Swede uh, uh, who came to America to work and he became a very famous uh, radical songwriter. Took old tunes and put new new songs, new uh, new words to them, uh, the folk process. And, um, and he became a real thorn in the side of, of, uh, of the management of the mining companies. And, uh, and uh, uh, he was finally uh, charged and uh, and convicted of a murder. Very dicey question of whether it was true or not, and was killed in, in 1915. And uh, uh, this is a song um, that you might know. It was a poem written in I guess 1925 because it was 10 years after he had died by Alfred Hayes, and then the music was written by Earl Rob Robinson. Um, but it was famously sung by Joan Baez at Woodstock, among many other places. It's called I Dreamed I Saw Joe Hill Last Night. Earl Robinson lived around the corner from me, from our, uh, us. We lived in Brooklyn Heights for, when I was a kid. And my friend, Steve, uh, uh, my brother Steve's best friend was Jimmy Robinson, the son of, the son of Earl Robinson. And Earl Robinson was, was a composer and a, kind of a left-wing uh, composer. Uh, did amazing, a lot of amazing things. And we, little did we know that literally on the top floor, Stephen knew, but we didn't we put it together, was Lee Hayes was renting the apartment. And who is Lee Hayes? Lee for Hayes is one of the Weavers. Uh, Pete Seeger, Ronnie Gilbert, Pete's, uh, uh, Fred Hellerman, and Lee Hayes. And, uh, and then we, of course, were totally inspired by the, by the Weavers, the, Ch the Chapin boys. But by that point, he'd moved, and we'd, we'd totally forgotten all this until a little bit later I was talking to Steve. He goes, oh yeah, we used to go up and, and uh, hang out in his apartment when he was away. And me and Jimmy. So it was a small world apartment. If you live long enough, you find connections that you never expected. But there was a wonderful tune. Was, the melody was written by, by Jimmy Robinson's dad, Earl Robinson. You can still do it, yeah. But I mean, how do you want to do it? I dreamed I saw
forget that Labor Day is not just the traditional end to summer. Um, you'll notice I'm wearing white pants the day after Labor Day. Um, that was a, an, an accident, honestly, but um, <laughs> that's sort of the things that you think about when you hear Labor Day. It's the end of summer, there's lots of barbecues, but really we are celebrating and thanking the people who came before us who fought so hard for weekends, for the eight hour work day, minimum for wage. overtime, for minimum wage to end child labor practices. Lunch breaks. Lunch breaks. <laughs> and all of this is thanks Back to the labor movement and that is synonymous with unions. And um, unions sometimes get a really bad rap, but honestly they have changed the course of this country and made it into the amazing economy that we have had maybe still don't at this point um, for so long, but now that unions are on the decline because they've been completely um, attacked by corporate America, who, surprise, surprise, doesn't like them. Like us, we're all union members. Um, so this is a, Joe Hill was on the forefront of the union movement, um, and uh, that was over 100 years ago. We're, we had kind of the 20th century was the heyday of unions, and now we're on the decline, but um, they're still very important. And, uh, and uh, Woody Guthrie wrote some wonderful songs, labor songs, and I think this is one of my favorites. G. There was a in May who never was afraid of goons and gangs and company fakes and deputy sheriffs and bakery. She went to Union Hall when the meeting it was called. songs being written these days, not just these old songs. And here's a brand new song that we've done a couple of times. We think it's so good. It's by a guy named Don White. And uh, this, uh, it's called One Little Drop. All the work gets done in the valley. Down to the people in the 
It's, does it start with I, I can't read it here. Inspiration? Does it start with, <laughs> this is a, it's a wordy, wordy song. Do it to start here or there? It's here. Okay. Let me see if I go to the last When the union's inspiration through the workers that shall run Divide us by our color, they divide us by our tongue. tongue. They divide us men and women, they divide us old and young. But they'll tremble at our voices when they hear these verses sung. And the union makes us strong. Cool. Let's do uh, bread and roses. You want to? So, yeah. Um, yeah. Do we care about going over? It's what time is it now? 11.30. Oh, well, let's do one, this and then we'll, then we'll end it up. And we'll okay. do, do one more. Okay, Maybe this we is good, good acapella? Sure. Or, or either way. As we go marching, marching in the beauty of the day, 
a million. Actually, let me start by because I just did a, I did a little research on this song. We knew that it was a suffragette song, a, a, a song that was traditionally um, considered. It was a poem written um, by, let's see, James Oppenheim. Um, but the woman who coined the term bread and roses, um, whose name I'm going to forget right now, I'll get back to you tomorrow. Um, she was a suffragist, but she was also a factory inspector. And she um, spoke at a march for women's suffrage, and they had lots of different people speaking on different subjects, and her subject was workers. And factory, um, factory uh, conditions, and at that time there were many women and children working in factories. So she said, we want um, bread for all and roses too. And the idea was that bread signified being paid fairly for your work and roses signified having a good quality of life and fair dignity, quality and in your work and life balance. And the idea was that if women got the right to vote, that we would um, automatically, because women care about such things as quality of life and dignity of work, that we would have bread and we would have roses too. Now here we are, it's been a hundred years and one month, not even, since women have had the right to vote and we're still fighting for dignity, for fair pay. Our um, minimum wage has gone up like $3 since 1970, something like that. It should be, if it was rising at the rate of inflation, we should have a $22.50 minimum wage right now. It's $7.25. Um, we're fighting for that, we're fighting to, for everyone to be able to vote. Yes, women have the right to vote and all people technically have the right to vote, but the Voting Rights Act has been demolished. People are still fighting this fight, especially now during COVID. So this song is about that. We want bread, we want to be able to feed our families, but we also want roses. We want the dignity to live our lives in beauty and comfort and health. As we go marching, marching in the beauty of the day, a million darkened kitchens, a thousand mill lofts gray, are touched by all the radiance that a sudden sun discloses. For the people hear us singing, bread and roses, bread and roses. As we go marching, marching, unnumbered women dead Go crying through our singing, their ancient call for bread Small art and love and beauty, their drudging spirits new Yes, it is bread we fight for but we fight for roses too. As we go marching, marching, we bring the greater days. The rising of the women means the rising of the race. No more the drudge and idler tend the toil where one reposes. But a sharing of life's glories, bread and roses, bread and roses. As we go marching, marching, we battle to for men. For they are women's children, and we mother them again. Our lives shall not be sweated from birth until life closes. Hearts starve as well as bodies. Give us bread, but give us roses. Hearts starve as well as bodies. Give us bread, but give us roses. Thanks, friends. I have a Zoom concert tonight uh, uh, on, with uh, Bruce Swan, of ho it was host, WPKN. It's a free Zoom concert. All the information's on my website. 
probably Claudia's put up there if you're watching Facebook. And uh, it's either 7.30 or 8, but you can find out what it is. And it's free, of course, donations, along with, uh, with uh, some other artists. Uh, uh, the ones I know, a couple I don't know, but the one I know with Magpie, the part of it. And so uh, uh, it'll be four artists, and we're doing adult stuff tonight. And uh, maybe we'll, if you guys are around. You should throw in some union songs. Maybe yeah. I'll throw in a union song or two. And, uh, but thanks so much, folks. Check it out. And uh, happy birthday to Kim Charnovsky. Our happy birthday, Kim. It was Kim, it was Kim uh, uh, over the weekend, I think, maybe Monday. I'm not sure. But happy birthday, happy birthday, we love Let's finish in key of D. I don't like to say goodbye. I don't want today to end. But we will be happy together tomorrow. Together tomorrow again. Together tomorrow. Together tomorrow. crazy virus. Be, be careful when you wear, wear your masks. Thank you, friends. See you tomorrow. I remembered who coined the term bread and roses. Helen Todd. Her name was Helen Todd. Helen. Helen Todd. Nicely done.